Hello and welcome to our dental channel. I know it's been quite a while since I last uploaded a video, but I am working on that. With that being said, let's get into it. Uh, I know that you guys are probably bored of online lectures, uh, but I thought this, this presentation would be really necessary for a general overview of what I'm aiming for in this uh, video. So consider chatting together if you will and with that out of the way, let's get started. Um, first question here is should, be be should we bevel or shouldn't we bevel? And the answer to that is yes, of course, we should bevel. Um, a proof of that because we love evidence-based dentistry is in a study that said beveled restoration exhibit higher fracture rate resistant values than non-beveled restoration. I will put the link of this study in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, now there are, that we are clear on the beveling part, we have to understand whether we should place a long bevel or a short bevel. Uh, here is a short bevel that does not exceed, say what, 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter in facial extension. And here is a long bevel that is about 2 millimeters of facial extensions. Another study here um, says that a proper bevel is about 2 millimeters of facial extension. Now, in addition to the long bevel, there is an honorable mention here, something called the start burst bevel. And this is what um, dentists on Instagram actually use. Um, it includes varying depths and lengths. Uh, now, how they usually do this is by a fine grit burr um, that goes along the surface. Uh, say, if I want to make a start burst bevel here, I would make it in this direction. Now here is the study that I showed you before about the long bevel and it also talked about the start burst bevel here that includes varying depths and uh, lengths and it adds more benefit to the long bevel. Last thing I want to talk about is something called an infinite bevel and it is suggested by Dr. Mario Romare. I hope I pronounced his name right. He suggests that you make a wide bevel or a long bevel with a 75 degree angle. Then you would round off what he calls a finish line, meaning the edges of the fracture here. And then you would basically have a seamless margin. You do this, the rounding off of the edges from the fracture by using a coarse disc on a low speed handpiece. And what you eventually get is obviously seamless margins. Um, I finished the presentation. Now I'm gonna leave you to the actual video that I made. Um, disclaimer, there are some uh, points where I got off camera to correct a little bit of things because it was really hard to adapt those while I'm filming but I would I showed you like there's about eight seconds I guess of showing you the final results of my work so I hope you enjoyed that and I'm gonna leave you to it.